Well, hello, oldies and goodies here. Another fine, blessed day in the life of coin community, metal detecting community, stacking community, whatever. Pretty much fishing, oh, prepping. I could go on, uh, or how big this community actually is. And not everybody has the same cup of tea. But, anyways, I received mail, and I knew it was coming. I didn't expect to get it in like four days, or less than a week. <laughs> Gold washing, pay dirt. Christian, over there in Germany. Germany! Mind you, it only took like four days, if that. But anyways, it was right in the mail, it was right here. Not one problem with the customs. So people that have problems with uh, overseas, well, that's your post office. They're telling you you can't do something when you can actually do it with no problem. I've never really had a problem. And all the years that I've traded overseas to many different foreign countries, come on, give me a break. It does cost a little bit more if you start sending bigger and bigger packages, and they're going to start wondering what the heck you're sending. But anyways, it says, eh, I'll just read it, you know. Oh, oh, and I got a new sticker, too. He uh, decided to go with a German Eagle. I do like his gold painting one. And it's a German Eagle. A pretty big sticker, too, of course. If you're gonna go if you're gonna go go big right but yeah you know, German Eagle or chicken vulture whatever anyways you know, gold washing got a little play bar, bar there isn't that cool well I've been trying to get a couple you know uh, a couple times I've been trying to get his trades but he's been going you know, massive, meaning big, big coin trades. Uh, he's trying to build his collection of 90% American coins, uh, 90% silver. And he's getting rid of all the 62, 35, 50, 80%. He even gets rid of 925. You know, just trying to build his collection with one type of metal. I don't know what he's doing. None of my business. But Mr. Christian here, and we've already had like uh, three other things. Um, had this one lot here, and I says, well, I don't have enough. Again, as usual, um, I gave away most of my silver, or pretty much all my silver I had left. Uh, I'm a thousand K giveaway. Everybody knows this, and if they don't, who cares? Hey, you get some free stuff. Sheldon Hearing, Mr. Wexler, had the idea to gift this trade offer, number 15, to you as we both appreciate you as a friend and a great member of this coin community. Mm-hmm. Yeah, great. Sure. Anyways, not, not mocking you, Christian, but the way I feel right now, yeah, I don't believe... Uh, that's the stuff I hear anymore. I will throw in some extras. Five silver. 35% U.S. Guaranteed U.S. War nickels. <laughs> so I threw that in as a gift. And two older Canadian 80% dimes. Well, on top of Mr. Sheldon, my long-lost brother from the Polynesian islands of Hawaii... Um, great guy. He's been doing really great in this community. He spends a lot of money and gives away a lot of stuff. So I hope you respect him and not take advantage of him. I, like I said, this was above and beyond that I even knew this was going to happen. Man, we need to get that ego down a little bit. There. That, yeah, that's okay. A little bit of light on it. 
And anyways, so um, Christian and both Sheldon Herring, uh, Sheldon came up with a trade. It was like $2.20 in face value of 90% silver. I have no idea what he traded. Um, it really doesn't matter what he traded. What it is, is a complete total gift from him as part of our community to me. And what, you know, what am I? Nothing. And it says, have a great day and stay healthy, my friend. Sheldon and Christian. Mahola. Donkashe. Oh, wait. I put that in there. Close enough. All right. Well, anyways, we'll, we'll, we'll put that up there. Just I could move the camera back, but then you might not be able to see the coins. Anyways, we'll look at it. Canadian Dime. My next door neighbor. Well, pretty close to my next door neighbor. It's got the whale on it. Or is that actually a fish? I'm pretty sure it's a fish. But it's the uh, commemorative 1867 to 1967. And as everybody knows, silver stopped in 1968, half the year. Um, I can't remember what the... Yeah, I, yeah. can't remember what the percentage of silver is on it. It's probably 80%. But don't quote me. And that was uh, Queen Elizabeth crown portrait. Well, you know, the tiara. Okay. And then we have the young head. Well, we know that's going to be like the 60s or before. I think 64 was young head. So let's see what this is. And I'm blind as a bat, so I'm going to have to get my scopey thing here. And it is a... Nineteen fifty nine. Not in the greatest of shape. But hey, if you're stacking silver, I guess it doesn't matter. Wait, I'm not a silver sissy. I don't stack. <laughs> but wait till you see the rest of these coins. They're really, really nice. Um and then we got ourselves a Australian George the Six, which is gonna be in the 40s could be in the 30s 40s a little couple years in the 50s and this one here is not made by the u.s but it's a 1949 threepence threepence say it correctly threepence it actually sounds good smooth threepence okay um australian threepence King George VI, and then we have ourselves Queen Elizabeth, and this is a threepence. Remember, these go side to side because it, Canada has to be difficult. They make the coins exactly our size, uh, pretty much worldwide. They pretty much follow the American, and that's a 1963. And as you can see, it's a young head. Get the little bond in the back. She's really beautiful. And then she got old. This year, next year, somewhere around there, we're going to lose her. And there's going to be a new king. New king in town. And from what I understand, they've already made the coins for the new king that's going to take over. And that was also Australia. Excuse me, so is this one. Another young head. Queen Elizabeth, except this is a sixpence. And it's got the emu and the kangaroo. It's 1960. Yep, 1960, young head. Very nice, beautiful looking coins. It's got luster on it and everything. So I want to call that scrap, you know, as far as stacking. That's more of a value all by itself or monetary. But. And then we're going to get into a cool coin. I don't have one of these. Oh. Newman. 
something, something, something. It's a commemorative coin. Uh, Baltasar, whatever the heck that is. Uh, but it's a German five mark. Deutschmark. It's five Deutschmark. Wunschpost. Deutschland. Anyways, it's a commemorative coin that they came out with. And I, I think this is like 625. I don't know. I didn't look it up. All I know is I got to do a mail call. And that will make... Uh, a few people happy. Won't be too many more mail calls coming. Uh, let's see. There's a... Yeah, whatever it says. Archaeologist Institute. Archaeology Institute, I would say that's what it says. I think it says 1978 or 79. You be the judge of it. Oh, 79. Never mind. It focused. And that has a German eagle on. Another different design of it. Bunch Republic Deutschland Deutschmark. Yep, there, right there. It's 1979. It's got a mint mark there. It looks like a D. Uh, all German coins have mint marks because they have like 10 or 12 different facilities that they mint stuff at. Uh, it's a five mark, five Deutsch mark. Commemorative coin, very nice. You gotta remember, Ger Germany is no longer uh, Germany anymore. Well, it's they they're on the euro system, so th uh, these coins are obsolete, except for the silver content or monetary. As a collector, all right. Another cool looking bunch post. Got some ugly looking guy on it. Look at that. Another German Eagle. Different style. Different design. Another commemorative coin. And it's cool. They they pumped out some commemorative coins. And five Deutschmark being like kind of the highest, you know, caliber of coin. Uh, for, you know. Uh not really spending purposes, but to kind of bring the economy up, just like we're doing with our stuff. Make those state quarters or presidential dollars or some type of stupid program that just takes it away from the real hobby. And then they pump it out like garbage. Oh, <laughs> yeah. In my opinion, I don't care what people think right now. Another five Deutschmark. Another commemorative, another style of eagle. There's been so many different design of eagles that they've had on there, but if you go back to the old days, they didn't change much. And then ever since uh, this guy, Hi Himmler, whatever. Hi Hitler? I don't know, that's a fat guy. But this is a Deutsch Reich. Two Deutschreich. Two. Look at that beautiful symbol in the middle. It's good luck, buddy. That's what it used to mean back in the old, old days. That, rabbit's foot, horseshoes, Rhonda Tolliver. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, oh. I did a shout out. The lucky one. Rhonda Tolliver. Yeah, my first silver. Uh, one with a swastika. This is probably 1937, 38, somewhere around there. It was probably minted in Austria. 19. Uh, can't get a date. 1847, 1934, looks like. 1934, this is when uh, they were starting to accumulate property in Europe. Germans. world or New world order. They're taking over everything the best they can. Shamor, German. Well, you got to remember, I got the, you know, this was sent from Germany. And there's no wall there anymore. There's no Eastern or Western Germany. You know, Democratic Republic. 
Deutsch Republic. Okay. Now they're on the uh, Euro program, which is also part of the e EUC, EUC, whatever, economic growth, whatever the heck it is. Uh, the Euro program. And most all the countries over there in Europe after the war, 1945, when it ended, uh, changed over to, well, I mean, not till 1999, or was it 92? Well, whatever. They changed to the Economic Union. Please, people, I'm busy. You can beat me later. Eh, these are half marks. These are silver. These, if I'm not mistaken, are uh, 80%. No, no, they're 90%. I just sent two to Rhonda. Uh, that I had extra. It looks like I have two more extra. And then I got one a, a new new one I didn't have, which is, I think, Francais. Victor Hugo, the richest man in the world. Oh, no, anyways, 1985. This is a commemorative. Beautiful, beautiful coins. This one flips up side by side. It's 10 francs. And, yep, Republic of Francais. Not French. You know me, I love my foreign coins. I really appreciate that. Those were all given to me and gifted by Gold Washing uh, <laughs> from Sheldon, Mr. Sheldon Wexler, Incorporated. And then, this was just a, a side gift. I, I, I must have got a tip out of it. Because Mr. Goldwashing says, I'm going to send him gifts too. He knows I've been trying to get, you know, these buys. But every time I want to do it, I don't have $2 base value of silver anymore. I mean, I do if I pull them out of my collection. Well, my collection is something I don't plan on getting rid of. It's getting to that point. All right, this is a 19... Damn, these dimes are small. Looks like 1914, 1913. Anyways, it's a King George V. It's a 10 cent Canadian dime. Yep, King George V. By the grace of God. Oh, no, that'd be Elizabeth. And here's the King George V again. Same thing, a dime. And this one's a little bit better to read, I think. 19, 1919. There you go. Ten cent, Canada. So, that was from gold washing. And then we all know what the U.S. nickels look like. So I got five... 35 percenters of 43, I think there was like 243 Philadelphia's and one San Francisco. And that one there is the San Francisco. Okay. So there's the 43S. That one's going to be a 43 plane. 43 plane. Okay, there's a 42. That one I think is a, is that a D. No, it's a P. 42P. I didn't even have to hunt a box of nickels to get this. And there's another 43P. And I think the last one is a 45D. 45. D. 45 D. Yeah, eh, it ain't focusing too bad. So that's what you, that's what I got. It was all completely gifted to me. It's the most silver I've ever received. Well, except for the Washington quarters I got from a nominous person out of Oklahoma. That I could never repay because it was a nominous. A nominous. A nominous. <laughs> Anyways. 
All right, well, we're going to go over here and we'll just do the, uh, you know, we'll get on with the show a little bit. This trade offer I wanted to trade, uh, American silver, 90% coins. This was, this was the deal. And these are the coins I just showed you. I love the music that he puts to these. Very thoughtful. And that was the deal I was looking at. I wanted this one especially, and I love, I love these uh, commemorative coins. And then he wanted to trade two dollars and two dimes, so two dollars and twenty cents in face value. Total of fifty-five by fifty-five. And Sheldon made out, or I should say, I made out. Yeah, that's it. Now we'll go to uh, Mr. Goldwash and Pay Dirt. Check out his site. Videos that he does. He does a lot of trades. A lot lately, a lot of trades. He does sticker trades, of course. If you don't want to go for the coins, Mike GPO is doing great. Sheldon's doing great, and then there's quite a few others in the past that has gotten trades. I even got a couple trades right off the bat. But they were small silver. It wasn't something, you know, something I didn't have. See right here from Gregory Lee from Australia. All these rams had he traded in to get something that uh, Mr. Goldwashing had. And Sheldon Hearing, we all know Sheldon Hearing too. And uh, he's, like I said, he doesn't have very many videos. He just started. But I'm telling you, he's hit. He's hitting it off with a lot of channels out there, a lot of uh, live channels. He goes on, does a lot of uh, talking and streaming, and he's always naked. No, I. Yeah, well, he's got his shirt off, you know. Naked. <laughs> Anyways, um, all I can say is I really, really appreciate it, uh, Christian. I appreciate it, Sheldon, and uh, eh, there may be a couple more videos of mail calls, and I don't know, I don't know what's going on with me right now, so make a long story short, Odie's out.